Welcome back. We are exploring how to format data in spreadsheets. In the previous core concept tutorial video, we created a spreadsheet that tracks something that we like to collect. We labeled the columns with the value for each of the items that will be placed in the row beneath it. And we'd like to differentiate between the header rows and the non-header rows by formatting the cells so they're pretty. Notice I made a little mistake. I accidentally overtyped a value in cell D1. I'm going to just hit escape and whatever edit I was making in edit mode was not committed. I'm going to zoom out a tad using the view ribbon and zoom. I'll jump to 100% so you can see my formatting at work. First thing we want to do is change and emphasize that first row, the header row. I selected those cells by clicking and dragging from A1 uh, down to F4. Now notice I accidentally double clicked cell A1 and I entered edit mode. I didn't want edit mode. Hit escape. That's why I use the arrow keys. I hold down shift and then right arrow and I select that block. Now every option, every action I perform will be applied only to that selected range. I'm going to make it bold. I am going to adjust the background color to a dark background with a light text, like white text. That's nice. Um, and I can adjust the way the text is stored in a cell. Notice my comments, they may get uh, long. I can get quite long-winded. Not much new material. I could extend that by saying not much new material about uh, Python 3 from version 2. If I want to chop the spreadsheet off here, I would not like to lose the last half of my comment. So I'm going to format the entire column F. So I'm going to click the F. Notice when I'm hovering over the column label, the letters, the cursor turn changes to a bold down arrow. That means if I click, I select the whole column, and I can perform tasks on all of those. There are several uh, roads to roam around here. I can right-click that selected column header, and I get a context menu. And I can do handy things like cut and copy and delete, insert, and I want to go to Format Cells. This pulls up the cell formatting dialog box. There's all sorts of goodies in here. The first one is what type of data is in there. This is text, so general works fine. I could certainly click text, but uh, because it is text, it won't look any different. I want to jump to Alignment, and this allows you to put text on the right and the left. I want to wrap text. Notice I could also shrink it so it chops it off. But I don't want to chop it off. I want to wrap it to a new line. And it's going to automatically expand the height of my row so that all of my text fits in that box without exceeding the right margin. And uh, last thing for manipulating and formatting cells is the Format Painter. This is the best kept secret in Office products that I have ever run across. Let's imagine that I want to add a column to my table. I want to um, add a column before comments but after five star rating and I'd like to put in the number of chapters because it'll tell me if I could calculate a page per chapter that would be cool. In fact let's put it before five star rating. So I want to insert a column so I'm gonna select the click the column header I'm gonna right click for the context menu and hit insert. Some spreadsheet programs will bring you up a little box and ask you what do you want to insert. Excel defaults to inserting a column to the left if a column was selected. So I can type chapters here. And uh, But what if I wanted to add at the end? So I could say um, recommendation. Ooh, see, Excel was really smart. Excel saw that I was extending my header row and it automatically applied the formatting. But let's imagine that I want to highlight programming books that I particularly like. So I want this row to be bold and I want the text to be like a dark a dark red. This is really great. Now if I decide at a later date that Java A Beginner's Guide is also a great book and I want this row to look exactly like that or this cell to look exactly like that cell, this cell, this cell to look exactly like that cell, it would be a pain and more importantly inconsistent if I had to relocate all of the formatting options. Was that bold or not bold? Was it, did I increase the size? An easy way to do it is to say, hey, spreadsheet, go grab me the formatting, not the value, the formatting on this cell and put it in a new cell. 
So we do that by clicking Format Painter. That's going to grab, slurp up the formatting settings on the cell that's selected. You'll notice that you get little uh, running snakes. This means that the spreadsheet is about to do something with the value in that cell, like cut it, copy it. In this case, it's going to do the formatting. So I'm going to click the cell that I want to duplicate the formatting for, and boom, look, it's the same red bold that I had below it. And I can do the same with the remainder of the cells on this row. Super handy. And uh, this was interesting. When I format pasted from Python programming to cell G2, I lost my wrap text. Why was that? It's because this cell, the format of the cell in the title column, was not formatted for wrapping. So when I moved it, I got color, font weight, and the invisible settings, like how do you want me to deal with text that's too big? Uh, an easy way to recover from that is to say, well, let's just duplicate what's below it because that had the format, uh, the line wrap. So I can grab my format painter and I've now duplicated the formatting. It's back to where it was in terms of line wrapping and it has that red bold font. This is great. Final thing is let's imagine that I have another edition of this same book, Java a Beginner's Guide. So I want to duplicate this row to underneath Python programming, but edit it a little bit. So obviously, like most programs, we can copy and paste or cut and paste if we want to move. So I'm going to select this row. I'm going to move the data. So I, uh, I'm using my keyboard. Keyboards are our friend. They're fast and they're accurate. So I click, uh, I move to A2. I hold down Shift and right arrow over through the end of the row. And uh, I encourage you to use your keyboard, so I'm going to hold down Control and tap the C key. That's for copy, Control C for copy in almost all programs. You can see that the cells that I copied now have the running snakes. The snakes in your program may be faster than the snakes in my program. It's okay. And now when I have that selected, notice I'm using my navigation keys to move my selection around. So this is staying select uh, this was uh, the operation for copy is uh, waiting to be put somewhere it's waiting for a paste command if I selected this range of cells to copy I only need to tell it the upper left hand box where I want it to move it so watch how I can uh, I want to paste it in here so I'm going to hold down control and tap V for paste Notice it copied, it duplicated the text that was in my copied cells to wherever I pasted it. If I, for some reason, pasted it in this cell, notice it got moved over one column. And the uh, same number of cells wide was used using the location of my cursor is the upper left reference point. So that Java beginner's guide and then the cells directly to the right of it started where I was selected. That was an oops, so I'm going to undo it with Control tab z Let's imagine that I want to reorganize these. Uh, so I actually want to group my Java a Beginner's Guide. So the addition, oop, I'm going to need to add addition here. I'm going to right click F, I'm going to insert, and I'm going to write addition. Because this was the sixth edition, and I also work with the ninth edition. And that is 714 pages. And um, they covered it in the last edition, so I can hit delete to remove text from any cell, and then it's gone. Again, I can always undo. The last thing I want to show you is cut. So let's imagine I want Python programming underneath Java, a beginner's guide. One way to do that is to cut the cells and then delete the row. I can cut a single cell. The cut operation is the same as copy, paste, and then going back and deleting what you copied. It's literally cutting. It's not literally. It's electronically cutting. That means removing the content from the cell and moving it somewhere else. So I want to move Python programming underneath Java, a beginner's guide. I selected that cell. I held down Control and tapped X for cut. You can just as well use the right-hand context menu and click cut. Now I'm using my cursor keys. I have selected the cell that I want this data to go into. I hold down Control and tap V for paste. That's V as in Victor is paste. P got print. And we can move that down. I wanted to move that whole row, so let's select from Zell all the way through the comments. Hold down Control, tap X. And now wherever I move it, Control, tap V. 
it copied what was in the original cells and then it deleted the original cells value. I have this blank row, I want to delete it. I'm going to right click the three, that gives me row options, and I can hit delete for the row. And so now I have the beginner's guides together and Python programming together. There are ways to sort and manipulate this data, which we will explore in a further module. And with that, I look forward to exploring formulas next. That's where the magic comes in.